You idiot! Hello, everyone, especially my 56 subscribers. Welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. And today we are back with more of The Sims 4. We are doing the Rags to Witches Challenge. As you can see yep, by my Kitney Whitney witchy shirt. Yeah, no. Uh, today we are going to be trying to start his Sorcerer's Lair. Um, I have played a little bit since last recording. We took a couple of trips. He pretty much went to the gym, showered. We went to Henford on Bagley, where he was able to, thankfully, by some miracle of the Sims gods, he was able to find some grapes, which satisfied some of his hunger. He found a couple more things. Um, I didn't sell any of them because I wanted to do that with you guys. So, let's play. All right, we got our boy Pax here. He's just getting up from doing some, some uh, crunches. That's right, setups, whatever. Let's look at the inventory. All right, so um, we got Wolfium, which was one of the gifts given to us by uh, Mr. Jax. Jackson Pax, I'm gonna need, to, uh, I'm gonna have a difficult time with those ones. We have a time capsule. Uh, these are the only grapes left. I do have a plan for these. They're not being sold or consumed. We found a fossil rock. Uh, we got give me a or give a dog a bone, um, which is a training toy. And then we got another ball 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 ball. Um, let's open the fossil rock. Oh, which it already did without us needing to be in play. Hilariously tiny T Rex arms. Of course we're selling that. It's adorable though. Um, mysterious time capsule. We need to open up that. And then ball. I'm gonna put one. I think I have to be in play mode for that. I want to get rid of one of the balls. Uh, I'm going to real quick change it to this one. That way it'll quick popping up. No, Jax. No, and I know what it's from. It's because he got sprayed by that skunk. Um, oh, come here, buddy, please. Oh, so sad. All right, what is this? Uh, Tobor, rare. We're finding all these rare ones. I feel really bad like selling them. All right, and that got us past our goal of a thousand. I know, now I'm sad. Well, we're gonna be a little bit less sad because right now we're going to try and make this challenge a little bit easier for us. The biggest things I noticed um, with why we needed to like go to the gym and everything is that we don't have any items for comfort, uh, nor do we have, uh, we have a potty, thankfully, like right across the way. So not too concerned about that. Else was I think, oh, we needed something to wash the dog in as well as ourselves. Um, first and foremost though, we need food. And so I'm going to get us a mountain and garden patch? What? What? That's boss. And it's only $10. Um, a yes please. A yes, a pretty please. Well good, I was thinking we were gonna need this little monstrosity over here, but we don't. Um, yes, the grapes are going to get planted in there. Oh my goodness, he also probably was real hungry. Okay, that looks solid. That has a couple of things that I need. Except I also wanted us to get... Okay, bear with me on this one. Think about it. A bathtub. One like this. I know it's super expensive, it looks fancy AF, but if you honestly think about it, there is a reasonable chance that someone was getting rid of this. That he found it, you know, in a in a junkyard somewhere and pulled it in. Right? Or I mean if anything, it's $650. He has $740. Um, you know, he could have bought it. And it's not, I mean, maybe not specifically that one. I don't know, I guess maybe like this one. The reason that I want to have this right now. Oh, and that's 555. That gives us even a little more. Is that there's water right here. It's not unreasonable to assume that he can just go down here, grab some water. It doesn't need to be connected to like the grid um, to just fill it up to just wash his dog. So that's my thinking. Um, we don't need like a litter box or anything for Jax. We just need food. I feel so bad. I realize that he hasn't eaten this entire game yet. Ah! And I think that's all that we're going to get. 
because yeah i know we should focus on having like a roof over our head or something but uh yeah not i'm going to fill the bowl for five dollars sadness well he has food for when he is ready and now let us oh he's gonna cry it out in the cot oh well before you do that sir we need to plant this oh no he's gonna have his cry first oh that makes me so sad and now like, I feel almost worse having this bowl here now because it's like, oh, great. Well, now we have the memory of our dog that's run away from us because we're such terrible pet parents. All right, that has been planted. Perfect. Let's water it. And then this way we'll have, like, a food supply once it starts growing a little bit. Um, so then we'll have a way to wash ourselves and the dog, dog food, a way to sleep, and a potty. So those are like the most essential things that hinder him. Yeah, he's going to cry it out real quick and then he's going to sleep. And we'll be right back after he has his little, oh, well, his little cry and snooze. All right. And he's awake and has to seriously potty. Um, potty is this way. There we go. Use the restroom. And then food is our next biggest thing. But we do have... $180, we can go. I almost want to allow us the ability to order food. Because realistically, if I had $180, like, I could get, I could order myself some food. But no, it's, it's against the challenge rules at the moment. So, yes, we might, like, run to the bar and uh, grab some free chips or something. I really wish that some of these plants were were yielding some fruit. Post alert about missing pet. Yes. Oh. Yes. You call that. You call that line. Tell them that Jax is gone. And now he's calling the sadness hotline to hopefully help him get over some of his sadness. Oh, there we go. See, now he's happy. What's he doing now? Chase flock. Oh, right. Well, we can't all be winners, can we? You know what, bro? How about you solve a hard problem and then go jogging? Because he's also a genius, so he enjoys things like solving difficult problems. He's mostly just hungry. So I'm going to real quick, while he's over here, you know, thinking of that really difficult equation in his head, uh, I'm going to try and find some edible plants that may or may not be around. Oh my goodness, there's a bar right here I had no clue of. Okay, so bar by the docks, got it. We'll head there in just a minute, um, because when he's done with his jog, we did find a couple... Uh, I wanted to welcome you to the community. My, that's a lovely neck you have there. Uh, Vlad, you don't live here. You know, something that I really want them to add back into The Sims 4 is... Uh, oh, what's it called? Is burglars. But I feel like for... For... Uh, Challenges like this, it would make it extra complicated. All right, let's extract the fossil. And we broke it again. Awesome. Let's sell that. Cool. Then let's open up the time capsule. We got old Gabby, 25. All right, nothing too extravagant there. Now let's head over to the bar. And you know what? This doesn't even cost us any money. Ooh, it has like a little kitchen area. Oh, and we can listen to things and meet people. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, what are you doing? Please don't order a drink. Grab chips. Yes, my boy. He knows. He knows. And that cost us nothing. It's like, we're not looking to spend any money. But. Oh, and apparently we're talking to Mortimer Goff. Make, make uh, rich friends. Oh, he actually has pretty much everything up except his hygiene. And we could actually go take some of the water from the... Uh, from the shore and run us a little bath. Well, at the very least, we can wash our hands, we can brush our teeth. Please don't order a drink. Wait for drink? What are you doing? <sighs> you idiot! I don't, I don't think our drink order went through. He realized last minute, like, oh no, I can't be doing this. I don't really have money. Nope, he definitely bought some because we had 200 something dollars. Great. And so then we didn't even get it. Please, don't be ordering another drink. Do not be ordering another drink. You're going home. You're going home because you're fine now. 
gonna make us go dang broke. Also, it's like 5 a.m. I really kind of don't want to be seen walking out of... Are you okay, bro? I'm just like jogging next to the cat with the top hat, Mayor Whiskers. All right. Um, I did notice that over here, it looked like the hole respawned for digging purposes. So let's dig, 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 dig. We got two common upgrade parts. That's really easy and realistic to sell. All right, so I think... Actually, yeah, all of our needs are pretty, pretty good right now. Let's dig this. Another time capsule. Let's see what this has. This has Flathium. All right, let's open this up. Wow, Flathium looks... Flathium. And DJ Candy. Perfect. Um, Is there anything else that we, like, need at the moment for our house? I mean, aside from walls, but uh, walls are gonna take more than I think. No, let's save our money. Let's save the monies. Um, we could probably browse web. Yeah. Let's add to our Instagram story and then post another alert for our missing dog. Um, I think we are we just have to do another day of going around world to world, see what collectibles we could find before we get too uncomfortable to do anything. So, all right, I'll see you guys when I'm done doing that. All right, and we are back home. Uh, it looks like what we mostly got were these common upgrade parts we can definitely sell. Let's extract the fossil gingerly. Prehistoric hoofprint, okay, sure. We got four time capsules. We're gonna open all of them up after we cry it out a little bit. Right, it looks like our first one had Morkabus, $75. Second one is Goth Boy, 100 bucks. Third one is Chasmic Freely, $15. And last one is Buddy, a cool, crisp 25. All right, so we are tired and hungry. So yeah, let's go ahead, cry it out a little bit, and sleep. How long are we going to be sad for? Really appreciate if this uh, plant could maybe do better, <laughs> be quicker, or Jax is back. Call Jax to eat. Yay. And then let's give Jax a bath because he is filthy. He's a filthy, filth little man. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at how adorable this is. Oh, so happy. Yeah, and actually look at the amount of water in that. That's really realistic to believe that we <laughs> just sort of lugged that up. All right, Jax is fed. Jax is clean. Yes. Oh, let's roughhouse a little bit. At the very least, Jax is like doing well. <laughs> All right, yeah, so we have to uh, wash up a little bit. We have to eat, we have to potty real bad. So we're just gonna go do all of that at the bar on the docks. And we'll bring Jax with us, cause Jax missed our last bar adventure. All right, we're gonna grab chips from the, uh, from the nice lady. And now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna eat them while conversating with her. Oh, this girl's giving us the eye. Okay, yeah, she's not happy. Uh, hi, yeah, what's your name? Nina. Oh, Nina, oh God, it's Nina Caliente. Oh, your family murders. Well, you know. Wouldn't hurt for us to just make friends real quick. No, we're not ordering a drink. Go home before you make us go broke. Yeah, the only thing that's down really is his energy and his funds now. Oh, that's right. And this, this, we have to run all the way back to our lot before it does that. All right, we have a couple of these available to us again now that we're home. So let's go ahead and utilize those. All right, limestone. Perfect, let's extract that limestone real quick. Fossilized sin hand worth $45. Yep, that seems just fine. 
open that up and open up the other one. Looks like we got Chef Gino, 20 more dollars, and Hopper, another 20. So I do think I'm going to buy us a grill. That way we can start using them. I'm also gonna give Jack's food. We, oh my goodness, we're $85 away from owning a grill. Are you kidding me? Uh, let's train Jack's a little bit more. All right, we pretty much just trained Jax a little bit. Uh, how are we already hungry again? Oh, we trained Jax and then fell asleep. Now we're going to go use the potty because... Oh, I, or we're going to answer Ian Mooney's call. I've called to inform you that your great, great, great second once removed cousin friend's grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you. Will you accept? Uh, under what conditions? There were some conditions, but there were no conditions if you asked if there were conditions. So we just got $3,000, guys. Perfect. So you know what that means? That means walls. Congratulations, walls. Uh, congratulations to us. I mean, sorry for, you know, our friends, great, great grandpa's friends, uncle person but you know random wealth and see that's another thing where I'm like I don't fully consider that cheating because that actually happens um I actually do have a friend who she completely did not believe it at the time um but she uh, <laughs> she got a call that uh someone from her husband's side of the family had recently passed away, or like recently, it had been like a year or something since they had passed away, and uh, they were looking for the heirs, and uh, yeah, one of the heirs was my friend's son, obviously. Uh, oops. Sorry, I'm trying to talk and do, and like construct a home on a budget real quick. Uh, but yeah, so they ended up with, you know, some really weird last minute money. Ooh, mine's eye twin bed. I think that he uh, would definitely enjoy having this right there. We're going to get a little bed for Jax. A little bed. Wow, that's a pretty big little bed. Yep, I think a fridge, and then can we get a microwave? We are not, not quite there with the microwaving yet. Um, but cool, we have a fridge now, so we could actually get a couple of things. Oh my gosh, I just realized we need a door. And there are no lights for $4. <laughs> we don't even have a window. We don't have ventilation in here yet. Uh, you know what? It's not perfect, but it'll do. But it will do. Well, look at us. Uh, the intention for this goal was for us to start our lair. And that looks pretty Larry to me. Yeah, we got a little place for Jax. We got a place for us to uh, potty, which we're taking full advantage of, it looks like. We have something to wash ourselves with. We have some food, food for Jax, uh, and a bed. So, wow, this is already coming together pretty darn nicely, isn't it? Perfect. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end that there uh, with Pax just, you know, grabbing some food. And oh my goodness. Little Mr. Jax just chewing away on his, on his little toy, wiggling his butt. So if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and leave a like. Comment below how you are liking the series. Next episode, we are going to try and start getting into the magic. Um, the more money that we get, the more we can... Oh, okay. Bye, buddy. Uh, the more we're going to decorate this to make it look sort of sorcery-esque. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or if you're not new and just haven't subscribed yet. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!